Wilson County, a man charged with murdering five-year-old Cannon Hinnant in 2020 has pleaded guilty in court. This is a plea that allows Darius Sessoms to avoid a death sentence. WRL's Matt Tallhelm was in the courtroom and has a reaction. And Matt, we know this was an emotional morning for Cannon's family. Yeah, Jeff, it really was. You know, Cannon's mom wiped away tears as she read her victim impact statement to the court here. But also, it's a lot of emotions on the other side of this. Darius Sessom's family, both of these families have now lost something here. Sessoms will not get the death penalty because of that plea deal, as you mentioned. And that is something Cannon Hinnant's family, his mother especially, had wanted since all this started back in August of 2020 when he was shot to death in his front yard. This has now been going on for more than two years, delayed because of the pandemic. Within the last two hours, Sessoms did enter that Alford plea to first-degree murder for the shooting of five-year-old Cannon. The judge allowed us to take some still photos inside the courtroom. That Alford plea means Sessoms understands there's enough evidence to convict him, but it doesn't mean he admits guilt in this. Prosecutors say Sessoms shot and killed Cannon while he was riding his bike in his father's front yard. Sessoms was their neighbor. Cannon's two young sisters actually witnessed that shooting. I talked with Cannon's mother, Bonnie Parker, just outside the courtroom here within the last 30 minutes and asked her if this is actually justice for her son brings us a little bit of peace, um, knowing that we are walking out of here today and we don't have to come back. We don't have to see him. My girls do not have to testify in court. Um, that is the whole reason why he took this plea. Um, it was best for him to take this plea so we would not have to get our girls up there. So not necessarily justice, but some peace, she says, for their family. It also saves those two little girls from having to testify in a case against Sesame's former girlfriend at the time. She was also in court here, Olani Pettit, and pleaded guilty to obstruction of justice. She admitted that she drove uh, Sesame's to Wilson or to Goldsboro from Wilson after that shooting, and so she admitted that she will not get any jail time, but she was was sentenced to supervised probation. That's because. She She's a mother of three. She has no prior criminal record and was actually working with prosecutors in this case. Sessoms, however, will spend the rest of his life behind bars without the possibility of parole. Jeff? A bit of tough closure there for the family. Matt Tallhelm live in Wilson. Matt, thanks.